Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Son Young Jang. I'm Associate Professor of Hanseo University of South Korea, and I'm glad, very glad to present to you. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a study on subjectivity of child abuse in nursing students. This is Constance. Child abuse is a serious social problem that not only threatens the health and well-being of child, children and adolescents, but also brings about the death of children through inadequate and improper management. In order to solve this problem, the UN Convention on the Right of the Children is emphasizing the necessity of the right to get special protection and help in childhood targeting every child, child including abused children. However, the health professionals do not receive it as the most serious problem. The subjectivity of the perception when handling patients in nursing sites has lots of effects on their nursing. Thus, it is important to understand the perception of nursing students and pre uh, preserve uh, preserve nursing students. Q methodology is a methodology that could understand the characteristic of each type according to subjective subjectivity structure of human or originated from the perspective of actor instead of researchers hypothesis because nursing students perception of Child abuse is a subjective and un a unique experience of subject. The Q methodology considers the subjectivity of subject in proper research method for verifying the type of the perception of child abuse in nursing students. Therefore, this study aims to provide the basic data necessary for developing differentiated education pro programs according to characteristics of each type of the perception of child abuse as pre-service pre nursing students before working in nursing sites where child abuse is necessary. Uh, successfully performed by understanding the subjectivity structure of child abuse in the pers uh, perspective of nursing students. The objectives of this study are to provide the basic data for presenting the strategies for education uh, educating nursing students and also to provide information about nursing students' perception of child abuse by examining the type of the nursing students' subjective perception of child abuse by applying the Q methodology. The concrete objectives of this study for this are as follows. This study categorizes nursing students' subjective perception of child abuse. This study analy analyzes and sub uh, describes the characteristic of each type of nursing student's perception of nursing abuse, uh, child abuse. This is a study method. After considering the literature, med media data, and proceeding research on medical uh, on child abuse to achieve the objective of this study is studying finding the subjective 
showing the type of subjective perception of child abuse targeting nursing students. To extract the comprehensive statement about the effect of child abuse focusing on the quarantine unknown students of nursing department, the two questionnaires are drawn through the process like consideration of domestic foreign relevant literature, open-ended questionnaire, and individual in-depth interview. By drawing about 200 quick population through those processes and then target integrating the collecting literature through the consideration of domestic foreign relevant literature, about 100 quick questionnaires were finally extracted. After going through the procedure of reviewing and modifying the extracted cube population of this study, final 44 samples with highly discrimination are selected. This is a sampling method. As the P sample, this Study selected a total 14 nursing students who voluntarily agreed to participate in this study after fully ex explaining the objectives of this study to them. This slide shows Q classification process and method. 14 nursing students, the time for each participant to complete Q classification was 35 uh, from 35 to 50 minutes on average. Data analysis was performed the um, Q corner PC program and Q factor analysis utilizes principal components factor analysis. The mean and the st standard deviation of components were analyzed utilizing SPSS Win21 program. This is result. In, in the result of analyzing the subjective of child abuse by using P, the PC corner program, there were two factors which explaining 40.3 3.8% of total variance. The factor 1 was 28.34% while the factor 2 was 12.04%. As the factor 1 has 28.34% explanatory power, it could be the view as the factor explaining child abuse the most. Almost to total 14 research subjects, 11 people belong to factor 1, 3 people belong to factor 2. The people belonging to each factor means the group of people showing similar response to child abuse. The type of the subjectivity of child abuse produced by this type analysis method could be suggested as follows. The first is type of the solving cause for children child abuse. In the characteristic of type 1, they thought that the current occurrence probability of child abuse would be reduced by understanding the cause for child abuse and solving the cause. They said that the occurrence of child abuse was continuously increasing because the recurrence of child abuse was high and the level of punishment was low. They thought that the frequency of child abuse would be increased according to the tendency of par parents, the number one abuser. However, they did not agree that the uh, uh, degree of child development, social stage of parents or external elements could be the cause 
for the occurrence of child abuse. Thus, type 1 was named type of solving causes for child abuse. The second type of the seeking for the support measures for abused child children. In the characteristics of type 2, they think focusing on abused child children. They said that it would be important to pay attention to influences to the ch child abuse victims would go through the, in their growth process and to help them to be able to grow into healthy members of society. They thought that the child abuse victim who get physically and emotionally damaged could be involved in crime without adjusting themselves to society even after growing into adults. However, they said that the external factors for or causes for the factors related to child abuse would not increase the frequency of child abuse or expand the increase range. Thus, they did not agree that the state of children and type of family would increase the frequency of child abuse. Thus, type 2 was named type of seeking for supporting measures for abused child children. This is a discussion. In the result of this study, the type of the subjective of child abuse uh, perceived by nursing students was type 1, type of solving cause for children, child abuse, and type 2 type of seeking for support measures for abused children. And this, this study aims to discuss the characteristic of its type. Type 1 show in this study was type of solving cause for child abuse. As ch child abuse is raising as an issue, they think, think focus on the solution by reduce the cause of, causes of frequency of child abuse. They think that the current rate of child abuse would be in decreased in the future according to the characteristic of parents or child in the families with the child abuse and the measures after occurrence. Thus, they said it would be necessary to product policy level researchers for understanding the characteristic of such family members and also to seek for the measures for preventing child abuse based on it. Type 2 or type of seeking for the support measures for abuse ch child uh, children. They think that it is uh, urgent to establish the policy or measures for helping child abuse victims in the future focusing on the results showing them. They said the support system for helping children who experienced child abuse should be established, which could be the measure for continuously increased child abuse. Considering the role of nursing students cultivated as nurses in future, this study would be helpful for ch changing the perception of ch child abuse in our society. In addition, this study could be utilized as the basic data for development of dif uh, differentiated education program by presenting the subjective structure related to nursing students' perception of child abuse and the characteristic of its type. However, the research was performed through the convenience sampling method and the factor effects 
affecting the perception of child abuse are not considered for selection of subject. So it would be limited to general, generalized and result of this study. Thus, it would be necessary to additionally verify the type of the composing Q sample with the various background in follow up research. This is conclusion. conclusion. This study aimed to establish the basic data necessary for presenting the direct direction of changing nursing students' perception of child abuse through the subjective data analysis by exploring the nursing students' subjective perception of child abuse by, nurse, by applying the Q methodology. The result of this study, it was classified into two factors, the type of abuse perceived that nursing students were shown as a type of the solving cause of nurse for child abuse and type of seeking for support measures for abused child children. This study provides the basic data for establishing the measures for improving the perception and attitude toward the families with children abuse in the future by categorizing the subjective of child abuse in nursing students. As this study analyzed the type of nursing students' perception of child abuse and verifying the characteristics, it is expecting to see the development of education program, consider the, pro, uh, the characteristics of each type. This study also suggested the additional research on the analysis of type by selecting samples to consider various factors and the qualitative research for the verifying various factors affecting the care of subjective families with child abuse. This is the reference. Thank you very much for your attention. Now, uh, now I'd like to open it up to for a question. Thank you.